What's up, Crispy Crew? We are going to head to the Texas Custom Knife Show today and see what they have. Let's go check it out. Hey, make sure you check out one of our channel sponsors. It's gonna be RZE Watches. They come out with some great stuff and you can use code CDC, the number four, the word ever, all caps, CDC forever, and save yourself a little coin, support the channel. It is an affiliate link. We appreciate you. Check them out, RZE Watches. All right, so we're at the Texas Custom Knife Show and I ran into Alex from Defender Jerky and I've got to say, they gave me a free sample and it's freaking awesome. I'm gonna let them talk about their product for a second. Let me get this camera turned around. Hey y'all, so as you just said, I'm Alex with Defender Jerky. I am the head jerk. And I take that in every sense of the word. So <laughs> let me tell you a little about this. Yes, we're offering free samples. We are slinging our meat and we can't wait to get it in your mouth. I'm just saying, we make seven delicious flavors here. And here's what sets ours apart. Our jerky is wood fire smoked. We don't use those crappy ass dehydrators and we don't use liquid smoke. When you get our jerky, it is actually smoked flavor. Now, we carry seven flavors. We start with our original for the purists. We go into the teriyaki. We go into garlic. Let's throw some citrus in here with the lemon pepper. If you love pepper, we grind our own peppercorns and we're sending this home with you. It mixes great with beverages, but I won't tell you which one. Sweet and spicy is the newest, second newest flavor we've got, and then of course- That's my favorite. Yeah, that's the one that I've, I'm gonna try and bag 10 of them up for if I have it. And then our habanero. So, when you guys can, when you taste this, you're gonna look at me and go, man, that jerky's so good, I wanna drop the F-bomb. We're gonna drop it for you. Every time you take a shot, you're gonna drop the F-bomb with the Fender jerky, y'all. I love it. And they can find you right there at yes. that phone number. Hit us up on that phone number. I've never had a stalker. I'm looking forward to one. Shoot us a message. Tell us what you want and we'll get you all taken care of y'all. I appreciate you, Alex. Thank you so much, guys. All right. So we ran into the Meltdown Forge company table. They have some pretty cool stuff going on. They're busy with someone else right now, but I'm going to show their table off and what they have going on. Let's get into it. So they got some handmade knives over here. Ranging from like 50 bucks all the way to 220. Really cool stuff. That Damascus looks fantastic on there. And then they have this pretty sweet deal where you can work the flame for 45 bucks for a 25 minute experience. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. They got a liability waiver. They have a forge back here set up as well as a grinder that they will do. And then they have the anvil where you work on right here. Pretty cool setup, pretty exciting stuff. Check them out, you won't regret it. They have some amazing stuff. We're gonna check out the Webster Melting Company for lunch. All right, so we ran into Jeff Davidson at the show. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let him talk about this company a little bit. He's got some pretty awesome stuff. I think my favorite might have to be the Skink. It's got the Texas logo on there too. Love it. Let's show it off. Hey guys, I'm Jeff Davidson with Jeff Davidson Custom Knives. Here's a couple of my staples. So this is the Skink model, this is the Gecko. They're both 80 CRV2 on the steel, G10 on the handle. Guys, everything's hand finished in-house. Heat treat, everything is done in-house. Um, Here's a go-to for a uh, companion to your pocket knife, or maybe a substitute to your pocket knife. Um, everything, everything comes with a nice Tydex sheet, excellent retention. Everything's nice and rounded off. It's not going to come out unless you want it to come out. It's back in nice and easy, not going anywhere. No hot spots anywhere. Everything's blended, rounded off. Nothing should be sharp on a knife except for a razor sharp cutting edge. Okay. Bread and butter is hunting knives. This is my Wrangler model, California Buckeye, stabilized, 80 Chevy 2 as well. Good all-around hunting knife. We've sent these all over the world with different guides and hunters and outdoorsmen. Uh, I'm an Eagle Scout. I used to do wilderness survival, so the outdoors is my passion. I'm a hunter as well, so 
hunting knives are my bread and butter, and I love to see people's adventures from all over the place using my stuff. Well, and, and you got more. You got more than just knives here. Um, like I'm seeing bottle openers too. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're walking around, and we were about to look at this. How do you even pronounce that? Germano? Zermino. Zermino. Okay, I, I, I love the way that stuff looks. We'll look at that in a minute. But I ran into Tomas, Tomas, Tomas from Tactical Tavern, and I want to pocket check him for y'all on the channel. Let's check it out. All right. All right, welcome guys. Good to have you here. We're gonna do a pocket check of what I'm carrying. Because I flew here, my TSA approved here is a flashlight. And I'll hold it steady so you can get a close up there. This is the MH12 Pro. We did a review on this on the, on the channel. Don't ask me about the lumen, but it's bright as heck. <laughs> All right. I absolutely love that. We have a tactile turn, titanium pen. Oh. How come you don't have an anodized, man? Anodized, bro, because it's because it doesn't look flashy. Ah, uh, okay, okay, fair, so fair. If it, it, it gets all anodized, people go, ooh, and can say it gets sticky fingers. I got you, I got you. That's how I know. <laughs> On the right side, we have an Emerson Hattini. Sheesh! So that one's pretty gorgeous there. Still left it with a chisel grind, but I have plans to put a 50-50 uh, on there, but this is like super smooth. Uh, we got a spider coat. Manic with the crew wear. Love that. And you got that deep carry pocket clip on there. The lens clip on there, gorgeous. We got blood on the fingers from the kill test that Doug was doing. No clue what you're talking about. Uh, and now, the most exciting thing is I have my very first blade coming out. It's a collaboration with TKL Knives. It's called the Tac Tap 007. Woo! The seventh, uh, the seventh one in the Agent series. I was going for one of the nastiest armor penetrating tontos I could ever create. I still had strength towards the tip. This is ADCR V2, but we also are going to do it in AEBL stainless. Kydex sheath, something really special with the handles is coming out too. But this is the, the tonto. So it has a uh, carbide, you know, glass breaker on the back. Not carbide, it's carbide glass breaker. But... Sheesh! I'm very, very proud of it. TKL crushed that out of the park, made in the USA. These are dropped at December 7th to coincide with the seventh blade in the series. So that's what I've got today. That is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I appreciate you too, man. All right, so we ran into Neil from Maximus Knives. He was on Forge and Fire season eight, episode 23, according to the table here. I didn't know that off the top of my head. I did cheat. Don't hate me. Let's turn the camera around and let you talk to Neil. John, I'm Neil with Maximus Knives. We've got a few items left here on the table at the Texas Custom Knife Show in Conroe. I've uh, got my main production models here, my Mamba and Big Mamba. I've sold almost out of those already. And then we've got our nice Sand Tiger custom folder made with Nebula Damascus. We've got our Diamondback model. We've got a nice set of kitchen knives here and my custom dark matter chopper. Very what's, nice. What's left on the table. So. so you said this is the Mamba, correct? Mamba, yes. That thing is absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a little bit of info on it? Absolutely. So yeah, the Mamba is a 80 CRB2, uh, just under six and a half inches overall. Blade length is just around 2.75, so it's legal in all 50 states. It's no more than 3 8 inches thick. So it's definitely easy to pocket carry, or even if you wanted to hang it as a neck carry, it's not gonna print very much at all. So you're able to carry this comfortably in any configuration you want to, whether it's in the pocket, on the belt, you're gonna be set with it. G10 handles is what I use for all the production line. So you're gonna have nice, good grip on it. It's got good jimping right there behind the swedge. It makes for good penetration. It's great for doing any kind of small work that you need to do. Um, they've been used for everything from skin and rabbit and deer to open in boxes. So definitely a good utilitarian everyday use blade. And that's what the design is meant for. So very nice. And I, I love, I love the jimping that you put on there and where the thumb placement goes. That is phenomenal. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And those go for 175? 175. And the big mambas, 
which are just slightly larger. They've got a lanyard tube hole on them, jumping in the same spot, just a little bit more for the hand to grab onto. A little bit taller and longer blade. Um, they go for two and a quarter, but if you just want something a little bigger, you got the big mama to go with. And they all, all right. come with their own custom Kydex sheet for that price as well. Very cool. I appreciate you, Neil. Absolutely. Good meeting you. All right. We are with William from Zermino Knives, and I'm sure I butchered that name, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera around and let him talk to you for a minute because they have some pretty awesome stuff that you're not gonna wanna miss. We have William here. William, can you tell us a little bit about your, your product and what you got? Um, mostly what I do is folders. Uh, okay. More of the heavy duty line. Um, frames are usually around 116 thick, 64 titanium. Blades 316. Okay. Um, the only steel in most of them is the blade, the barrel pivot, and the stop pin. All the screws, everything are titanium. Okay. Uh, they're running on ceramic bearings and a ceramic D10. That's awesome. And you make everything here in Texas. Yes. The only thing that's not is we do have a CNC line. These are made in Tennessee. Okay. But all the regular knives are made in Conroe. Okay. I absolutely love what you got going on. And I mean, 650 for this bad boy. That's that's probably one of my favorites you got right there. The titanium one's even more of my favorite. What's your most popular knife you have on the table? Uh, usually this size. That one right there? Yeah. That is awesome, man. What do those run for? Uh, 425 with CPM 154. Wow, that's really good. The fact that you're here in Texas makes it that much more special. Um, I'm eventually gonna own that titanium one over there or one like it. So, I, yeah. huh? That thing is huge. And it will just drop. Sheesh. That's drop shutty. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. All right. I appreciate you, William. Thank you, sir. All right. So if you have been watching us on Instagram, you know that we ran into Roadrunner Pepper Co. And they have lots of amazing stuff. We're going to try all their flavors from the Agave Blaze through the Rio Reaper. And as we're trying them, we're going to let them talk to you about the the scovels that they have in them and the thought process that went into making this happen. Um, so we're excited. Let's dig into this. All right, so the first flavor we're gonna try today is going to be the Agave Blaze. And we're gonna put a little bit on the chip and I will taste it. Blaze, this is our most mild uh, option in the lineup. Um, basically a theme just for all of them. I wanted to keep it really simple. Um, Really nice. So we wanted to stick with one main pepper for most of them, and then kind of accent that with something interesting. For this one, this is the exception because it's got two peppers. It's got jalapeno and serrano. I included the serrano to uh, ramp up the spice level. A sure. Bit. Uh, you were talking Scoville level earlier. Jalapeno typically around five thousand Scoville. Uh, Serrano's a little bit more than that. I actually, use agave nectar in this one. It's a really nice, sweet substance if you ever had it. Um, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of garlic, uh, yeah, a little bit of lime. It's a really nice option. Good for, you know, breakfast tacos and like. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right, let's try this first one. I feel like I'm on the the TV show, or not TV show, I guess the YouTube show, The Last Dab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm kidding, it's great. <laughs> it's fantastic, has a great flavor to it. And the heat is really not that bad. Like it's really good. Absolutely. Next up, we have the Sunset Scorch. And let's hear about it. All right, so our Sunset Scorch is the second in our line of four. It's gonna be, for the pepper, we've got habanero, so it's got a nice sweet, kind of fruity taste to it already. And we paired it really nicely with a mango and pineapple. So you're gonna get the heat, but the nice fresh sweetness 
really great. I honestly recommend it on chicken and fish. Something really nice and fresh to hit it off with. Okay. I'm very excited about this one. I absolutely love mangoes, so. You're in for it. There you go. Here we go. Immediately, you get that mango flavor. Just really overwhelming, but it's really, it's like good. With a subtle heat, the heat builds. Mm -hmm. I love it. I see why they call it the Sunset Scorch. I mean, that's got some spice to it. That's, that's a lot spicier than the first one. Um, like you said, breakfast taco, every day, and then fish and chips. I can see that. I can see that. Very nice. Next up, the ghost town. All right, so our ghost town, this is gonna be another notch up from the habanero and the sunset sport. So this is where we're really gonna start to delineate. This is our hot stuff. But we're gonna go with the ghost pepper and it's gonna leave a nice heat, but to go along with it, it's mesquite smoke. So all the ingredients in it have a nice mesquite smoke before it gets blended in with the ghost peppers. That's I'm nervous about it because I was just telling them that it's not a good pepper unless you're sweating. I'm sweating. That second one did it to me. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the toothpick option this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the toothpick option this time. Alright, it's there for a reason. It's gonna be a nice barbecue. Oh yeah. That is really smoky. I really like that. Like really like that. The heat from the last one is still getting to me, but that is like such a good flavor. I think this is probably the favorite. Um, like yeah. that is that is so good. Absolutely, that I'm probably snotting all over myself, so I apologize. But we're gonna do the real Reaper next. Let me let me compose myself for a second. All right, it's time to try the Rio Reaper. I'm nervous about it. Let's hear about it before we try it. All right, the Rio Reaper. We're really coming out swinging with this one. Um, we wanted something for those people who really like clear uh, the hot sauce. Um, obviously, as the name indicates, it's Carolina Reaper based. Um, the interesting aspect, other ingredient for this one that put in is prickly pear, the actual fruit. That's actually most of the color you're seeing in that. In fact, all the colors here that you're seeing, um, that's totally natural from the ingredients, no added. Uh, it's also got a lot of lime in there. Um, it's pretty nice, so proceed with coffee. Okay. Very cool. Let's check it out. And I'm going with the toothpick again. Yeah, I was going to say it's delayed. You can tell it's delayed because instantly, after about five seconds, it just like, it starts expanding from the location that it, it yeah. We're exponentially going to get there. Yeah. yeah. The flavor is great though. That flavor is just on point. Um, out of all of the, all four of them, I know this is going to sound weak sauce, but the agave blaze is my favorite tasting one out of all of them. Um, absolutely love that one they're doing some good things here and not only are they into the hot sauce world they said this is their first show which is kind of cool because they're creating waves right um they're in the edc let's do a pocket check on them they weren't expecting this <laughs> so let's turn the camera around do a pocket check all right so i guess ladies first and here we go all right so this is actually my first knife ever and the person who got me into knives to even begin with. So it is my everyday carry. No matter what, I always have to have this with me. It's a nice crime, got the jade. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. That is phenomenal. And what do you got? I got a couple things. Um, so the first one, Chris Reeves Sabenza, cross hat. Sheesh. Large for Benza, 21. 
And the other one, it's also, I went Chris Reeve a little bit today, even though I'm wearing a Tom Crane. Just, just a little bit, just a, a little, little bit. bit. Another Chris Reeve, a uh, professional soldier. This is an older knife from uh, 2007, I think. But I have this one, you know, pretty much every day. It's a solid you know, carry. It just disappears on your waist. That is a solid pocket check. I appreciate both of y'all. Let's go over this one last time and where they can find you, and we'll finish it out. So the Agave Blaze, uh, that one's $10. It's, you know, again, jalapeno serrano base, about five to 10,000 scobo. Uh, the next one, Sunset Scorch, habanero base. Habaneros are around a quarter of a million uh, scobo heat units. That's also $10. Uh, the Ghost Town. Um, ghost Peppers are about a million. That one's twelve dollars, and Carolina Reaper. These are about two million. Go with these. Um, and that one's fifteen dollars. We do forty for the bundle. Uh, get a little discount saving there. And you can find me on uh, all the socials at Roadrunner Pepper Co. Roadrunner Pepper Co. Again, that's Roadrunner Pepper Co. You're gonna see them on our Instagram because this is some awesome stuff. I appreciate both y'all. Thank you. Y'all have a fantastic evening. All right, we had a blast at the show at the seventh annual Texas Custom Knife Show. We look forward to seeing what they come out with for the eighth annual next year. It was a lot of fun. We appreciate all of you. And remember, stay crispy. <laughs>